All right, so there we go. Okay. We have begun doing the thing, so you may go ahead and do the thing. Hello, welcome. We're going to try something different today. Inspired by some of the people on the internet, I'm going to take a little walk through memory lane of my old art. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll cut that out. Yeah. <coughs> and that. <laughs> We're going to go through my old art together with Charlie, and we'll see <laughs> how far I have come, or how far I've fallen. We'll find out. Are you ready? Well, I mean, I already accidentally brought up the first one, so here's here's this, which at first glance kind of looked like some <laughs> army people. <laughs> like, I, I thought you were, like, taking taking some inspiration from your brother here <laughs> no like the, this these were just like comic book because it looks like this part right here is the uh -huh. head <laughs> and it's just like this part right here is the head and you know you got your fatigues right here right and i don't know what's going on right here but the more i look at it 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 is design work it's a cocktail dress a cocktail dress from a 10 year old because this was in the year 2000 this is when i started wanting to be a fashion designer quote quote and and i would just in notebooks that my grandmother had no more use for so she would give them to me i would just draw stuff like this the whole time and this was one of them you and you get like the front the back and the side um this was poor cell phone no, it wasn't cell phone. It was. That looks web like webcam. Yeah, it's webcam. Because yeah. a couple years ago, I started doing like redraws of some of these oh. in my modern style, to just to see um, what they would look like from someone who knows what the human body does. <laughs> <laughs> I liked a lot of sheer back then. This this is some turn well, of the millennium stuff. <laughs> well, clearly. I I love the shoe. <laughs> Yeah, the shoe, the shoes, which are just like <laughs> triangles with sticks protruding out of the heels. <laughs> but clearly, you know the human anatomy so well because this waistline right here is perfectly proportioned to the rest of her torso. Sure, <laughs> sure. Can I go back to the like yeah. other one? It's just and just like... pretend these are army people. <laughs> G.I. Joe <laughs> cocktail edition. <laughs> I was going to go cheat commandos, but that worked. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> All right. So the next one. Next one. And then this is Hello, the, Mulan. This is the very first one I ever did. <laughs> it's supposed to be a ball cap. And like you, you could see in the black and white one, like how I first wanted it to go, and it didn't go very well at all. So I just decided to redraw the thing <laughs> uh, on the side right here. Yes, right? and this this is at least um, two thousand. I'm doing a lot of like archaeology with my drawings here. <laughs> oh man, and the but... kind of Picasso face. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing faces. I've decided I'm not doing faces. <laughs> like that, I know it's super pixelated right now, but that kind of looks like a grid face right there. <laughs> but I, I I do have to appreciate, like, because this right here looks like this, a sash, and the rest of it is just kind of like a ribbon or something. Something. Or, maybe, or some kind of a boa here. So the, immediately I was like, yeah, hello, Mulan, because this reminds me of Mulan's dress right here. <laughs> This, it's more like a 20s flapper. Yeah. And that's what you were going for. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then there, there's <laughs> another one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, the problem with, I think you could see the problem with the red part right here. Once again, I liked a lot of sheer, but that, that red part right over the baby maker is, is a problem. Hey, you know, if you want to point out the fact that this woman has periods it's, every month. It's a feminist art piece. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tommy Wiseau, you can't just go back and change the meaning of your work. Sure. <laughs> I could have been Julianne Moore from Big Lebowski, but you went with Wiseau. It's very vaginal. Some men aren't comfortable with that word. Vagina. <laughs> and then another thing I would do... 
around Teen that. Girl Squad! <laughs> no, those were my actual friends. So at, yeah, Teen Girl Squad. At the time, yes. I, I would like... In color. Every month or so, I would draw my friends in like fashion designs. And I was like, I'm making fashion drawings for y'all. All right, this one right here looks like she's just straight up a Bratz doll. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm before my time because I know that was fifth grade and that was before brats were really a thing. God. <laughs> like, okay, okay. This one's wearing a skort. Oh, God. Because <laughs> I thought that was fashionable at the time. And, and you can see the very early Audis, like tank top and cargo jeans. Yeah. Is... <laughs> cargo, like, almost bell bottom jeans. Yeah. They like, really bootleg. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this just, is bootleg. I no, and like I had to have every each one had to have a different neckline. So. <laughs> was that intentional? Yes, because I was like, no, they can't all have the same thing. That's why that's why one's in a dress and one's in a skirt and one's in a skirt and one's in pants. I'm guessing the one in pants is you. I actually don't remember if I'm part of this one or not. Because <laughs> sometimes I would be part of it, sometimes I wouldn't. <laughs> and then this. This is in the seventh grade, or yeah, it was about 2003, and I had just gone to creative writing camp and learned I can draw better, better than stick figures at this camp, and I was already doing like this big world building project, which in 2003 was Lord of the Rings, but with an equal gender ratio, and also I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> So I got this, like, how to draw fantasy characters book. And it was, like, those kids drawing books where it's just like, draw yeah. some circles and then lines and then add the Kiara squirrel. <laughs> this looks like it could have Trogdor, like, right here. <laughs> this was... I don't know why I'm making so many references to Homestar Runner with your drawings. Well, well this... Because <laughs> they're not that good. <laughs> And this is the kind of thing Homestar Runner was parodying. Um, and this was the kingdom with the dragons. Like, like you're you're pretty, this, like, True. this this little area down here, that's supposed to be the dragon Burninating the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can see, like, it's part of the, like, draw the square for the thing, and then add the turrets, and then add some windows. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see a lot of eraser marks, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how it was supposed to be on this side, but then changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. And and then then I started Ooh. drawing the critters. Like I was all about drawing the critters from from this world building project in That is in a middle school. No, it's a griffin cuz it's got the lion butt. <laughs> oh right, a hippogriff yeah. is the horse butt. Exactly. There's a difference, kids. Mm -hmm. Know your mythology. <laughs> <laughs> and with a little biplane right there. <laughs> that was supposed to be a belt. <laughs> and I think I wasn't happy with it, so I erased it. The Red Baron must take down the Great Griffin! <laughs> and then there's another castle. This one's like a, a little bit less bougie than the last one. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see it's on the hill. There's a tree. A tree. A tree. There's, there's a bridge. It's, that's a bridge? No, there's like a bridge across a chasm, and then there's the rest of the mountain right okay, here. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> kind the of way, like a, a Helm's Deep sort of thing. All right, the way I saw it, this was just like water pouring out <laughs> of the castle right here. You know, maybe they have some plumbing issues, and it just kind of creates a little bit of a waterfall, because this right here is just an archway that like is leading to the rest of the mountain range right here. Nope. No? <laughs> no. Because you kind of have, like, a bisected mountain right here. Yeah. Just... <laughs> it's supposed to be, like, a cliff and there's a bridge connecting them. Like, you could see the, the arches of the bridge. Like Well, now I... Barely. Okay, well, now I can see the actual waterfall you were going for. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, 2003. Yes, was... upon the Pac-Man plane. I was you... 13. <laughs> I had just seen Fellowship of the Ring for the first time. And I was obsessed <laughs> Sorry, not the Pac-Man plane. The Ms. Pac-Man plane, because that's a bow right there. Because <laughs> you can see the Pac-Man. It's like, wonka wonka. It's eating the mountain. <laughs> and then there's Unicorn. Unicorn. There's a very unicorn malnourished this... <laughs> Unicorn. I could draw the head of a horse and then not much else. 
It's like, kill me now. I need some hay. Give me carrots, please. And it's, I'll eat my own horn if I have to. Paint it orange. I won't know the difference. And, and this is this is what I called a water dragon. And okay. You, you can kind of see him. It's, it's like a, a, a little Loch Nessy, yeah. Yeah, and then and I was like, because these were the mounts for the main characters, so I was all about drawing like the tack and all the the saddlery and stuff. Oh, okay. And Forgotten like. Forgotten elves. G- 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 sh- sh- okay. Is, <laughs> and like like there, it was all of how it connected to the body and these straps that would protect the rider if it they flew upside down. <laughs> Yeah, this like I would do this for every animal. Hmm, I am digging that design. Like you, you easily can finish that right now. Yeah, and... like I, I could redo that easy. Um, and the, oh, this is historic. Uh, because it's two thousand four. It's the very first time I would draw like who became my main, um, original character that mm. would kind of be an avatar of me and sort sort of be in most of my stuff mm. throughout middle and high school. Um, her name is Calria. She's a fairy princess, and this is you. You can can you tell one of my first um, influences was Amy Brown? No, because you don't know who Amy Brown is. I don't know who Amy Brown is. Let's take it. I'm gonna show you who Amy Brown is. It, it was kind of this hot topic meets D and D sort of mm. feel. Um, a friend of mine at that creative writing camp had an Amy Brown book, and I was like, I want to do all of this. <laughs> so most of my art from, like, 2003 to 2006 looked a bit influenced by this, pretty obviously. Hmm. And I would just churn out, like, character designs and mostly dress designs of things like this. Um, superfluous ribbons... Asymmetric boob job. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about the extended torso and like grapefruit boobs. <laughs> it, you know what? That, proportions aside, because you know, fantasy creature, whatever. <laughs> Navi exist in in our I fantasy hate, realm. I hate Navi design. <laughs> like it's, it reminds me too much of this. <laughs> <laughs> like you it's... saw that. Just turn this blue, and there you go. Yeah. Navi yeah. fairy. <laughs> And here's another... Uh, another the, water horse. Well, no, this is just a, a regular, like, fire dragon. Oh. This was the, the main character of that story's main dragon. It's Trogdor. It, it's basically Trogdor. <laughs> I've drawn better dragons since then, I swear. Yeah, one's kind of up on the wall right now. <laughs> My figment. Your figment. Your figment. Yay. I, I'm still pretty impressed with myself for actually putting the detail on the the bridle and the oh, saddle. Yeah. Like, yay, yay, little me! You you took the time to do something. You must have been bored in theater class because I think that's where I drew this. <laughs> and then these are the actual ah. these are the actual characters. And okay, the the writing right here is this is when I took a typing class in middle school. And every time I fe- did, like, an interesting typo, I was like, ooh, this could be a name for my big fantasy project, which is Lord of the Rings, but me. And I, so I would write down the cool typos and save them for names. And this is, this is like, the main, main character. Um, her name is Vivri. She, she rides dragons. She's gotten a lot more fleshed out since 2004. But in 2004, she was basically a cool action girl with a flaming sword. <laughs> <laughs> but it was basically a lightsaber, but with fire. <laughs> and then, I don't, I don't remember what this one's name is in 2004, but her name as of right now is Yikina. And she was like a little pixie girl. And you can, uh, you can okay. see with like the lacing all the way up to mid-thigh. <laughs> Look, mid like up to mid thigh needs to be protected. Yes, okay? but but not like the three inches between the lacing and the mini skirt. <laughs> you know, you're on your way to just making some out like outlandish D and D characters. Like, like this, this is going in a Final Fantasy direction. Oh, absolutely. And this is before I knew Final Fantasy existed. Absolutely. <laughs> this is like D and D. This is almost Magic the Gathering. <laughs> like in the '90s, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I just, just like let's let's look at the 
face. <laughs> just <laughs> derpy. I, you know, I wasn't going to acknowledge the face again. I'm going to acknowledge the hands. <laughs> well, she's missing a hand. <laughs> yes, that, that's, that's a common thing. <laughs> With these sketches, is just, I, don't, I don't have t- I'm too tired. Possibly a... <laughs> <laughs> Emotio. Amashio. Ah. That's a cool. See? See? This is a good, like, world building tool. Is just copy down your typos and then hash them out till there's a name. <laughs> and then here's the, like, the guy characters. Two of them um, are clearly defying gravity. Because <laughs> I, I didn't have enough room. <laughs> so. <laughs> and also, my name in Elvis Dwarvis and Sindarin. <laughs> Daw. Because that, that was that phase of my life. Yeah, like, these were all originally supposed to be different fantasy races mm. um, in the, like, 2003 version of this story. They have since become regular people. Like, okay, who do you want to know about first? <laughs> this man has a 12-pack. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Is yes he does. He he's more ripped than Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> and no man boobs. And no man no moobs. Clearly he's got more of a Roman sort of vibe. Roman to Spartan. Him. Oh, this is even pre three hundred too. Yeah, so this that, is that's very, before that in, entered is, the cultural zeitgeist. Th- if I was taking any Roman inspiration, it was from my dad watching Gladiator. Gladiator, in the next yeah. Room. Um Yeah, he's supposed he was an elf. Um, Clearly he's surprised by this fact <laughs> I, I always had this weird way of doing dude's mouths Where it's like a very defined upper lip And then a line Because <laughs> if you define the lower lip Then it's a girl <laughs> This guy's supposed to be a shapeshifter Hello, other <laughs> side of the paper <laughs> I'm not even going to look at everyone else Because god, why would I want to <laughs> <laughs> This guy is just the human uh, you can tell he is basically Aragorn, but me. In the latest version of this story, he actually morphed into kind of a nerd mm. and a Mormon. Uh, and he has an he a has fantasy a, Mormon. <laughs> and he has a stretched out dwarf growing from his neck. Yeah, yeah, that's the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I ran out of room, and I just wanted to get out what they look like. Honey, you know dwarves end about like right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to make him too short. He's a dwarf! (laughs) Dwarves are short! True. (laughs) Zoom in. Apparently zooming in. (laughs) Stop that, you'll make people sick. And this guy's supposed to be an imp. Um, I I had a lot of, like, thoughts about imps as uh, fantasy races back in the day. Uh, That, that's... I've kind of stopped doing the... The fantasy kitchen sink for this particular storyline, but mm. but they are all, as of now, they are all different races because they were genetically modified by conquerors from a thousand years ago. Um, so it's it's still a weird story. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of here's my internal lore in this. <laughs> and he's clearly the Arabic inspired one. I, um, I he kind of looks like Pitt from like Pitt. <laughs> from Kid Icarus. Whoops. <laughs> Not what I was going for as a kid. I was going for more Latin. Well, the ears are kind of like the ears, and this kind of like reminded me of like the sort of clothing that Pitt wears. Mm. All he needs is like that winged bow and arrow. <laughs> so. And then there are the girls. And again, we have the dwarf all the way to the right. Now there's the pixie. Oh, she she marries the dwarf in, in the earliest version of the story. And all the way to the left, she has a skeletal left arm. Uh, no, 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 that's supposed to be like lacing on oh, a, I see on it a now. brace. I see it now. Um, I, I did this thing where ev- every hand is pointing one way and the other hand is pointing the other way. So I could show both sides of the, of the, like, uh... gauntlet thing. Yeah. This is, um, Kaita, or Akita. She, she was originally, like, supposed to be an anthro. Ah. Uh. And, like, her race was, like, the proud warrior race. And I'm like, I should not make that an anthro in my modern version of the story. And, and here's Mira. He, she's the tomboy. Mm. She's the tomboy and, like, sea captain. And uh, Manea is supposed to be, like, the the Galadriel of the group. 
I um, thought that was this one right here. No, this this is Vibri. You've met her before. Oh. She's the dragon rider, you know, cool action girl. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Also, I kind of want to point out that she has two different eye sizes. Yeah, she does. Like, no no, no one's getting off easy in these. <laughs> I, I love, like, the lacing goes all the way across the shoulders, has a neck hole, and then goes across the... <laughs> this, this is very early design work. <laughs> and then here's... No, all right. So, of the castles so far... <laughs> This one looks the most badass. It's like a fire castle. It's supposed to be like in the center of a lake and it's in this like island and there are all these bridges going to it. Oh, so it's Zora's domain. More or less, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is before I knew Zelda existed, so. Now, this... granted, this is like even, like this is way before Breath of the Wild and Breath yeah. of the Wild possibly has my favorite design for Zora's domain because it's mm. like right there in the, like, in this sort of cul-de-sac of mountains above the lake, kind of exactly like this in the main, like, castle, Mm -hmm. if you will, is, like, right there. Now, where everybody lives and sleeps and, you know, does all that other stuff, that's That's not really... Like, down there. Yeah. We we don't get to explore that area in the game, but... But, yeah, it's, uh... That, that, that's given me well now that i look at it it's like this is north pole too that's like a fiery north pole because that <laughs> kind of looks like the candy cane design too. <laughs> it, it's supposed to be all like aquatic and swirly and and this does not exist in the modern version of the story but back then this was like a big set piece like it was like the the place of the oracles <laughs> ah. it, it, it was rivendell it was freaking rivendell because this was the lord of the rings knockoff in 2003 more like so. riverdell <laughs> More or less. <laughs> and then there are the rest of the animals. There's a... That is straight up Trogdor. With a, <laughs> that is snake Trogdor. It's, it's a little wyvern. <laughs> the, a wyvern is basically a snake with wings. That is snake is, Trogdor. <laughs> it's a snake Trogdor, yes. Um, there's uh, Vibri's dragon rain again. There's the mountain dragon. He's, he's all spikes. And there's a Pegasus. There's and then just a regular, a regular, horse. regular ass horse. That's that's the human's mount. That's he gets the regular horse. He's the horse. Uh, do, oh dear, this is the worst. Um, my first OC was a Sherlock Holmes OC, and she was supposed to be Sherlock Holmes' niece. And this is when I thought I was gonna be a mystery writer. Hmm. I was gonna write this whole series about the niece of Sherlock Holmes solving mysteries. We were a boyfriend, and her name was Raven, and this was before I found out everyone in the country had a Mary Sue named Raven. <laughs> <laughs> and, it was, yeah, it, it was bad. It, it was sad. <laughs> um, this is probably, like, the only thing that remains from that. <laughs> it was bad, it was sad, and Sherlock Holmes was her dad. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle ruining my rhyming scheme i know that that comes later <laughs> this is not my last oc oh yeah like you're gonna get a lot of internal lore here <laughs> um i i love the very early audis styling of richard over here he's, he's supposed to be in the 1890s but you know he's got like the unbuttoned sleeves the untucked shirt like right this, this 1890s by way of ryan seacrest more <laughs> flaming rose i did a lot of these that on is, homework that, that that's a dude no it's not it's it's supposed to be like um money is mother i think uh, and this version of the story she was basically galadriel this is not good <laughs> we can all agree on this <laughs> <laughs> I just like the sleeves that just extend to the floor for no reason. No reason on earth. But we have another water dragon. Yay! I, I still like this design. I still think it's a fun design. Because the coloring is almost like a koi fish. Because these like dark spots are supposed to be orange and then it's supposed to be like a light blue or ivory mm. in between. 
So they'll be colored like koi fish. This is on a lot of homework assignments from back in the day. It's like, like you know how when you're in middle and high school, you've got like one or two like tattoo designs almost that you're you're pseudo good at and just put them all over your homework because you're bored. No. You you never did like the S thing. Oh, the Stussy. Right. Yeah. I would draw that on my desk. That's that's bad. I know. That's bad. I know. <laughs> You're a vandal. <laughs> I am. I erased it. <laughs> and, and then, um, I never stopped the fashion design thing. Like, no. on the on the corners of everything, there would be like, oh, I have a dress idea. Because I was always like, whenever I'd imagine scenarios, of course, everyone I imagined scenarios in had to be really good looking. So I'd design outfits for them. So I'd always put them in outfits, and then I'd be like, I want this to be an actual outfit. So I'd draw like a sketch like this on homework paper. And then I'd go home, and on a different notebook, what I would do is trace um, some paper dolls in my paper doll collection. Mm. And then I'd, like, draw the clothes on top of them, the way they were supposed to look on a human. Oh, okay. And I had, like, three or four notebooks of those. I don't know if I threw them away before we got married or not. But they are either... They have either been thrown away or still in Alabama. So, yeah, these are some artifacts from that this is a slightly more defined human with the buck teeth <laughs> this is when i started drawing from life more this i think is either summer or fall of 2004 and i had an issue of teen vogue that i would read on a road trip from la to arizona that summer and then i would just start drawing from them mm. so this this is one of those illustrations you, you can see me attempting boobs <laughs> As as we know them, Jim, <laughs> and attempting the shading, <laughs> that that nose, that nose, the just, just the the Bruce Campbell chin, <laughs> the eyes which are just staring into the abyss, <laughs> and like this she, right here kind of looks. I tried. It's an improvement. Over... Not absolutely, but not to knock the artwork as it is here. It's probably more of a compliment. It kind of looks like some of the artwork in the scary stories to tell in the dark. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit. Like that intentionally offsetting yeah. artwork. And <laughs> Speaking of intentionally offsetting. <laughs> this is supposed to be a portrait of Yikina, the little pixie girl. Mm. And um, this was, I think I used like half a reference um like to get the nose okay mm -hmm. and then just you know just whew. that that probably doesn't even exist anymore but yeah we're, we're gonna block that out though okay and this my grandmother had reams of um stationery when she worked with uh, aarp ah and um when i would stay over at her house when she was living and then after she passed i would draw on all these like just blank stationary sheets right um so that that's most of these will have a slight ivory tint and that is why uh <laughs> i don't know if it's just because this has been in storage for so long before i scanned it or i was just that bad at shading but they were just <laughs> random splotches all over her face yeah <laughs> and and that and there we go that's it for 2000 to 2004 Hooray! Yeah. Oh boy, it's gonna get a lot more embarrassing from here on out. Oh boy! So, uh, so see you next time, kids. Yes, see you next time, fan cubs. Thank you for coming on this journey. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Charlie's link is gonna be in the card. And and if you want to see like modern art up by me, I have a print shop, which is probably better. That link will be in the description. We'll see you guys later for more embarrassing art. Yay! Hooray!